know that it's true that a lot of men are attracted to full and shapely breasts. But the fact is, men love breasts on women, not on themselves. At his peak, Frank weighed over 500 pounds. He was convinced that his weight was suffocating his life. So over the course of a year and a half, he dropped over 200 pounds. But there was one problem he didn't anticipate. His dramatic weight loss left him with massive amounts of excess skin that hung all over his entire body. Once you lose that much weight so fast, your skin don't, don't tighten like that, you know? I got to the point now where it's starting to look like I got male breasts. Joining us in our audience are psychologist Dr. Michelle Callahan and plastic surgeon Dr. Jake Halvert. <laughs> Dr. Calvert, what type of procedure do men have to go through to get rid of that? Is there a surgery that gets rid of breasts on a man? Gynecomastia is the name of the problem. And the operation that Frank needs is a gynecomastia reduction or repair. Mm -hmm. And really what all it is is a male breast reduction. Why do men, some men, uh, get breasts? Or they can get it for a lot of different reasons. Uh, a lot, the most common reason is just with puberty. Some men have a little bit of breast tissue uh, behind the nipple and they can, they can grow pretty significantly with hormonal fluctuations. Uh -huh. uh, but other things that cause it, a lot of the, uh, our bodybuilders uh, who use anabolic steroids are probably the biggest victims of this disease. Weight loss, um, people who are overweight have a lot more circulating, men who are overweight have a lot more circulating estrogen. Uh -huh. That can cause it as well. And, and if they lose the weight, does the estrogen level go down? It can, but sometimes the skin is already stretched and the skin will not like retract right. a certain yeah. amount of... Is there something that, it, that could, that a way that you could help Frank? Well, I think we should probably take a look. Okay. So uh, why don't I turn on down here, Frank, and let's see what we can do. So obviously a lot of... Right. How are you doing? So if you see, you can take a look, obviously the skin is significant. And this all, this is really about a C cup breast. And what we need to do is really, now if this were kind of where you stood, would that be something better for you? Yeah. Have that flat down? That looks out. good. Yeah. That looks better? really, really good. So I think we can think about something like that. Um, but also the other thing that's in, inhibiting you too is you've got the, the abdomen here and obviously this is your scar from the gastric bypass which yeah. again I think you know this kind of a thing can also help if we can get all this stuff out, out of the way you know take care of the abdomen you got Wow that's here. a whole that's just a bunch of skin this like is just he's, all skin. he's a lot thinner underneath all of that the key is that we should probably have you come into the office and do a full consultation so I can get your medical history and really look at the safety of of possibly doing something here and just see what's possible. And I think there's a lot we can do for you to get this, all the skin off you and just see where we go from there. Okay. Sound like a deal? All right, Frank. Like a deal. All right.